Time for sport now. My name is Robinson Okenye. After finishing third in basketball at the Kenya Secondary School's Term 1A Games, Ambira High School in Nyanza region already regrouped, seeking to atone for this year's mistakes. Abul Ahmed paid them a visit and files the following report. Having missed out on the chance to represent Kenya in the East Africa School Championships to be held in Rwanda, Nyanza Region Basketball Champions Ambira High School have begun preparations for next year's campaign. Ambira finished third in Tamuan Secondary School Games in April and are now aiming to go one step further to qualify for the regional games. Made it to the top three just because of three things. That is discipline, focus and team unity. But it was a, it was a tough tournament. And uh, we are sure, that's why I'm even telling you right now that we are sure next year the team will, will, be, will be superb, will be even better than the team for this year. Head coach Patrick Mboya, who also doubles up as a teacher, knows what it takes to balance studies and talent. We want to build uh, students that are all around, both in class and out of class. And uh, we do that one through follow-up, because they believe that good results in class, combined with their talent, can take them places. Facilities is what we lack. And we would like assistance in many areas, particularly for basketball. We have a court which is not as good as it used to be, and it needs a lot of uh, renovations. But also the game is getting a bit more popular. Their biggest challenge now is for the new players who have come to the team to fill the gap left by their outgoing players. Abula Ahmed, KTN Sports in Siaya County. Now, the boys and girls national under-18 volleyball teams have a big task ahead as they prepare for the Zone 5 qualifiers to be held in Uganda from May 24th. The teams will be narrowed down to 12 players, will face off against Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi and Egypt in the event where the winners will qualify for the African Youth Championships to be held in Algeria. The boys and girls under 18 national teams are hard in training in preparation for the Zone 5 qualifiers round to take place in Uganda. Uh, the preparations are okay. We had uh, the first two weeks of training during holidays, school holidays. And now we reassembled the team on 10th in preparation for the championship. The Kenyan teams led by head coach Moses Lukorito are looking forward to a stellar performance against contenders Rwanda, Egypt, Uganda and Burundi with which they stand a chance to gain a qualification to the Africa Youth Games to be held in Algeria from 19th to 28th July. Kulingana na mimi ningependa tushinde kwa hii competition ina, ambayo inakuja. We are preparing well for the competitions in Uganda and I think we are going to perform well. The team is however a tad less of perfection as they face a bigger challenge in the form of inadequate resources. We have a scarcity of indoor training facilities in the country. In fact, besides Nairobi, which has like six of them, only one of them measures up to international standards. The country's national volleyball teams have set the bar quite high, but the juniors are catching up quite well and in good stride. Their only hope as they prepare for the zonal qualifiers is that they bring nothing but the best. Rotuno Konyike, KTN Sports. The 2018 KCB Current Masters has been given a go-ahead by the Sunshine Tour officials who are in the country to inspect the course and facilities for the tournament slotted for the 19th to the 22nd of July 2018. Sunshine Tour Tournament Director Gary Todd was delighted with the overall plans for this year's tournament as he inspected the 18 all-current county golf, uh, golf course and facilities. Uh, and so far so good. Obviously it's been a bit wet the last couple of days. Uh, so I'm sure by the time the players arrive here in, in July, the rains will have disappeared and the golf course will be in pristine condition. Let's move to the English Premier League now. Pep Guardiola has been named the League Managers Association Manager of the Year after a record-breaking season with Manchester City. The Spaniard masterminded City's Premier League title triumph with a points record of 100, with his side amassing 106, 106 goals along the way. I didn't come here to change absolutely anything, so just to come here to enjoy my job and to do my best, like all the managers in the world, and they try to do that. So, but when you win, you like, uh, looks like, uh, wow, how good it is. But I feel the same like all the managers around the world, try to do my best, like all of them, nothing more. 
to the NBA now. Jalen Brown totaled 23 points and 7 rebounds to help the Boston Celtics take a 2 0 lead in the best of seven Eastern Conference Finals with a 107 94 win over the Cleveland Cavaliers on Tuesday night. Gets a nice roll. <laughs> with that, as James throws it ahead to Green. Rodney Hood fakes, drives, Hood adjusts, layups, good. Rodney Hood. Would... Hood gets on Tatum. Tatum spins in the paint. Bank shot straight on so in. Tatum shake and bake, three pointer. Well, that's your sport for now. My name is Robinson Okenye. Have a good night. And coming up is Bottom, uh, bottom Line Africa with Yusuf Ibrahim. KTN News.